Hello friends, the question is like this. Reduce the following equation into intercept form and find the intercepts on the axis. So for all these three equations in this question, we have to reduce this equation into intercept form. And after that, we have to find the intercepts on the axis that is x-axis and y-axis. So we have to calculate x-intercept and y-intercept for all these three equations. Okay. So, taking the first equation and to solve this question, we have to convert this equation into intercept form. Okay. Now, for this, we can see few things in the intercept form of equation of line. That is its standard form. That we have been, the standard form of the equation is x upon a plus y upon b is equal to 1. Okay. So, you can see that terms of x and y are that is the variable terms are on the left hand side and the constant term which is equal to 1 is on the right hand side so for this that is to convert this equation into intercept form what we are going to do we are going to first of all write the equation like this this constant term is written on the right hand side and the variable terms are on the left hand side next what we are going to do we are going to cross multiply 12 to the left hand side because the coefficient sorry not coefficient because the term on the right hand side is equal to 1 so right hand side to obtain 1 we are going to cross multiply so I'm going to get the equation like this 3 by 12 X plus 2 by 12 Y is equal to 1 now if you observe this equation it is like that the X and Y are in numerator and a and B that is the num uh, numerical part or you can say constant terms are in denominator so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write these values in the, this equation rather in the similar manner. Okay, so this can be written as x upon 12 by 3. This 3 which multiplies the numerator is written as to divide the denominator. And this 2 similarly is written as to divide the denominator. So this can be written as 4, this can be written as 6. So I'm going to get x upon 4 plus y upon 6 is equal to 12. On comparing the values of A and B would be 4 and 6. Okay. So it's very easy to calculate. So X intercept is equal to 4 and Y intercept is equal to 6. Now taking the next part. Now in this equation, we have been given a constant term on the right hand side, which is where we require to have this value. So one of our step has already been done or simplified in this given equation. So what we have to do, we have to just cross multiply the 6 on uh, on the left hand side. So the equation can be written as 4 by 6x minus 3 by 6y is equal to 1. Okay. And further, this can be written as x upon 6 by 4 plus y upon minus 6 by 3. So it has to be noted that if any term carries a negative sign, so this negative sign has also to be taken in the denominator and it is to be taken with the constant term and it is written equal to 1. Okay, this uh, 6 upon 4 is 3 by 2 and minus 6 upon 3 is equal to 2. So I'm going to get x upon 3 by 2 plus y upon minus 2 is equal to 1. So on comparing this equation with the intercept form, I'm going to get x intercept equal to 3 by 2 and y intercept is equal to minus 2 okay so this is the answer to the part 2 and for the third part we have been given the equation 3y, is, 3y plus 2 is equal to 0 now to solve this or to convert this equation into intercept form first of all we write 3y is equal to minus 2 okay and next I'm going to cross multiply minus 2 to obtain minus 3 by 2 y is equal to 1 here the term of x is not given okay so this means that the equation is such that it is not going to have any intercept with x axis okay it is not going to cut x axis okay so further this can be written as y upon minus 3 by minus 2 by 3 is equal to 1 or 
the y intercept is equal to minus 2 and the equation has no intercept with x axis so whenever we have been given an equation which doesn't contain any term of x so this implies that that line is parallel to x axis or in other word it has no intercept with x axis okay so this is the answer to the part 3 and we cannot also represent the term of x in the intercept form because x upon a would only be 0 if a is equal to infinity okay so writing a is equal to infinity would create some confusion okay so rather we say that it has no intercept with x axis or the given line is parallel to x axis okay friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.